There's a whole lot of focus on love this week, guys. So let's get into it for the week beginning January 27th, 2020. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 27th, 2020. So as I was saying, there is a huge love focus coming through. Uh, I know that gets people really amped up and excited and they're like, yes, and it's going to be romantic love, but I, this feels like <laughs> love of all kinds kind of coming on out here and opening up your perspective. Now, let me just clarify something here. I've been hearing quite a bit people saying, well, how can this pertain to everybody? And that is not a very good place to be. First and foremost, that just shows a lot of like community uh, conditioning where you think it has to be dwindled down to a sign. And yeah, you can kind of dwindle it down just to tune into those individual signs, but you're still up against thousands of people, right? So like if, you know, a general reading is a general reading and I am bringing messages forward from angels and, you know, these higher dimensional beings. And so if you were drawn to this video, there's something in this for you, right? If you're open to it. Now here, we're going to get into the message. Ready? Now, a lot of us, if you're human, at some point, you have closed off your heart. Why? Because things jab at us. We might feel insecure. We might feel like we need to control things. And the more we control things and throw our energy outside of ourselves and we realize, oh, it's still not coming together the way I think it should, then we get really scared that we're not going to have our emotional needs met. Or, you know, just having really bad relationship experiences. That can shut down your heart. Or maybe you had a troubling childhood or... I mean, we can go on and on and on. This is the week where if you work with Archangel Raphael, Archangel Shamuel, who's known as the angel of love, but Shamuel is about expansion, wisdom. Like seriously, imagine your heart radiating out. I have Sandalfin in here. <laughs> They're all coming in here. <laughs> so let's go back to Shamuel though really quickly and finish that out. Shamuel also helps you realize your fullest potential. Now, this is not to help you in an ego way find your fullest potential, but to ease into this love, this divine love, feeling one with others. Again, that goes back to that whole thing of how can this pertain to everybody? If you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com. Make sure you read the wait time, the delivery way, and all that. People seem really confused, even though it's right there. I also have a video on how I approach personal readings. If you want information and messages that are specific to you, that's how you get that, okay? But if this is a video that you've been attracted to, as I said before, there is something there for you. And part of that, I hope you can hear this, is that we are connected. We're, we're coming in to be one, okay? We're coming closer to that. So if you keep wanting to see yourself as outside of everyone else, if you keep wanting to look at people and go, that's you, that's not me, well, then you're, you're going to miss quite a love experience, okay? And I think that is a big part of what we're supposed to be picking up this week. So first and foremost, opening up to this divine love. And from there, um, allowing ourselves to be balanced. If your heart is aching over a certain situation, you know, starting to come to terms with it, feeling peaceful about it, processing it. Uh, yes, there could be some past emotions that start to come up. Again, pay attention to your dreams, guys. Okay, I know that's been happening to me. I just dreamt about somebody last night that, I think I mentioned this last week, that I haven't thought of in ages. And, and now they're just, all these people are popping up in my dreams. And I'm like, where is this even coming from? This is that thing, still, we're in that energy where all of the, uh, anything that might be causing a little bit of toxicity for you, anything that might be sort of setting off your frequency, it's going to start coming up to the surface so that you can deal with it. All right. Now, if it comes up and you're really stuffed in your ego consciousness, if you're really not balanced between the head and the heart, those are not online with one another. This is going to seem like a rough week to you. Why? You're convincing yourself that everything that's happening is bad. Oh, I didn't hear back from that person I'm interested in. Oh, no. Oh, can I, can I, let's take a minute here. Can I just share a little something with you? Every time I have dated <laughs> and I've, I've had feelings for someone and maybe it didn't work out, you know, I'm always like, oh no, like I can't believe. And then you know what? If I just give it a couple of weeks, someone else is in there. 
and now I'm like almost forgetting about the other <laughs> the other situation and here we are um so just remember anything and we're talking friends we're talking romantic love you know any kind of love partnership or dynamic that you have going on if it starts to fade away if it's not working for you anymore and you feel it you, know, you just feel it throughout your whole body all decisions are yours every situation is going to be different um but you know your instincts will be you know pretty high this week and you know when it's time to move on or when it's time to make amends or when it's time to let your guard down a little bit you know maybe you're coming at people and self-sabotaging by pushing them away these are all those kinds of realizations that we're going to be having and again for every person out there it's going to be very very different but if someone does end up walking out of your life, just be thankful because chances are pretty good um, that you were spared, okay, or that it's done and that you have learned the lesson that you're supposed to learn from them. Um, you know, saying that you've been spared, you know, think of uh, maybe a crush that you have that's not getting off the ground because now maybe uh, they're playing domination games with you. P.S., the whole communication waiting for three days it's domination game so don't fall for it uh be careful with that anybody who's interested in getting to know you you don't want anybody who's super clingy and needy you want a healthy you want healthy boundaries but game playing that's not healthy and that's not something that is that you want to base any kind of relationship on whether it's a friendship or a love partnership so if you have a crush on someone and it doesn't get off the ground Say thank you, thank you universe, and know that something better is coming along because again, you were spared, <laughs> right? You might have a perception in your head of what it would have been like because we do that, don't we? We have like fantasies of people. Oh, this is gonna be so extraordinary. This is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be the one. Or, oh, I'm so glad I met this friend. Oh, we have so much in common, it's gonna be so great. And later on, you figure out, you know, maybe they weren't very trustworthy or, you know, something along those lines. So what I'm getting at here is that this is a week of energy where there's going to be lots of ups and downs, backwards and forward. You know, like it's it's <laughs> it's going to be like all over the place, maybe a little bit feeling a little scattered. But what you're being asked to do is every time you shift, take advantage of that new perspective. Take a look at what's in front of you. Okay. I know this, for some of you out there, I can feel like they're like, but, like, what, what does this even mean? Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Or I can't help you, okay? You gotta work with me here. <laughs> Get out of your head. Come into the heart space. Work with Archangel Raphael to help open that heart. I know, guys, it can be tough. It can be very tough when you've had some troubled times around trusting people or, you know, feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you're not understood, you're not appreciated, you know, all of that. Um, something's gonna give this week if you're open to it. If you're not, well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but, <laughs> but if you're open to it, you might find that a new person comes in. Certainly that could happen. Be careful. We are starting to enter into uh, Mercury retrograde shadow. So, you know, check with astrologers on that. I'm not an astrologer, uh, and see what's up with that and what aspects might be going on. Um, this might also be someone from the past later on in the week, maybe coming back and going, why didn't you ever talk to me again? And I feel for a lot of you out there too, you're going to be like, uh, no, I was the one, I was the one that communicated with you last. And you might find that, oh my gosh, there was a huge misunderstanding. So there's that kind of group of people. Uh, Self-love. There's a lot of you that might go, you know, I need a break from dating right now. I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to make it terrific. You know, we do have Valentine's Day coming up. And I know for me, every year, I'm either dating someone who isn't into Valentine's Day <laughs> or I'm single. And so every year I, I'm so cheesy like that. I love Valentine's Day so much. I love the pinks and the reds and like all the romance and I'm a big mush ball really. So regardless of what happens by the time Valentine's Day comes around, I'm going to make sure it's special, whether that is making it special for myself. Heck, I might do a little staycation, go stay at a resort for the night or something. I don't know, just so I can be around beauty and you know all that stuff and be pampered a little bit so this is that kind of opening right here beginning you know time is not actually linear this is like a rough estimate right so we're beginning this opening and realizing what hurts us 
Where do we have distrust? Where do we have our guard up? Where have we pushed people out? Um, where should we push someone out, <laughs> right? Where are we, you know, allowing someone to take too much of our energy? What do we have to own for ourselves? This is a big week of realizing where we have been in denial. Yeah, you can't blame anybody else. Uh-oh, what? How dare you? Oh my God, you know, that's the ego. That's the ego. So really, I mean, as much as you can get into the peace of your heart, let your heart expand, okay? Let divine love come on in. Know that you are worthy of that. And then just have fun. Let the rest of it just fall into place. Maybe you're single and you do get asked out, right? Or maybe some new friends really start coming into your world and you guys, you just have like a blast together. You go off and travel and do whatever. So give yourselves this chance. It's just the beginning, okay? It's just the beginning. So let's get the cards. All right. So if anybody has any recommendations for new decks, I'd love to hear it. Let me know. And, oh, I, sorry, I'm up close to the camera. Here's me shuffling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because last week I had my corded mic. I, I tend to get a little bit better sound from that, but the cord was like, it's too short. And then I use my shotgun mic, which is what I'm using right now. So if it's a little different, that's why. And I still have to be up close to it. I don't know. I need to get some like wireless lavalier mics or something. Here we are. I want to say too, thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you do choose to subscribe, and I hope you do, uh, please make sure that you hit that notification bell. I'm getting really near to 100,000 subscribers. So... Thank you guys. <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate you being here. All right. Yeah, lots of, oh gosh, just tons of love. Just so much love going on. And you know what? This can be something like um, acts of kindness. You might find that people are really um, going out of their way to do something lovely. And it's not so that you, you know, have to reciprocate necessarily although it'd be nice to but you know you don't have to it's not like they're trying to get something from you by being nice okay cool all right here we go guys you ready i'm kind of i'm really excited <laughs> let's see this first carrot out oh this is interesting okay so we have black tourmaline protection now this immediately to me in the context of this week says that you are concerned about your heart getting broken and being disappointed by people uh you know being afraid that toxicity is going to come on in black tourmaline is not only very grounding work with archangel sandalfin if you want to do some grounding and some balancing um, but black tourmaline absorbs negativity and in my mind, and the message I'm getting right now is it absorbs the negativity so that you can get a clearer vision of what's really going on. So if that is, okay, I've always protected my heart. Let me get all the negativity out of there. Why am I protecting my heart? Oh, it's because of those two relationships I had when I was 16 and 17 or 16 and 18 and I never healed. And I allowed that to color my existence or... You know, I had this thing from childhood and I learned at an early age that people are not to be trusted. See, we as a humanity, we're starting to really look at our interactions with one another and that whole, you know, coldness, um, being imbalanced, being too cerebral, not being connected to the heart, not having emotional intelligence is not going to work anymore. It's not going to work. Okay, so there's that. And then we have... Ready? Fairy stone fertility. So this is a chance for growth. And this is a chance to create whatever it is that you want. You know, so this is a big manifestation week. It's kind of saying, you know, if you always, if you like the drama of anything, you're going to get the drama. If you like being the damsel in distress, you'll always be the damsel in distress. Um, could this mean pregnancy for some of you? Yep careful if you don't want to get pregnant okay but the fairy stone is saying allow yourself to let go of that negativity open up your creativity dream a little and let your dreams come to fruition this is literally taking 
things that are sort of out there in the ether, right? And and out in the ethers and, and bringing it in. And they're actually showing me it coming through and sort of being born through the heart space. There's that. I swear, I get the sniffles. It, it's like when, as soon as I put on the camera, I start getting the sniffles. <laughs> so if you see little cuts, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like, you know, taking care of my nose. Here we go. Morganite. Oh, I just dropped some of the cards. Morganite relationship healing. So that this is a very loving crystal, but it's a peaceful kind of love. Okay. It's a peaceful kind of love. And this relationship healing is showing you, okay, I can't be in denial that I shove people out. I can't be in denial where I keep thinking that I would be happy if other people behave the way I think they should. I can no longer be in denial that I'm terrified to be in a relationship or that I tend to like to be alone, but our society tells us that I have to be with someone. So I think I'm a giant loser if I don't have somebody, you know, <laughs> whatever your relationship healing has to be this week, that is what is going to be coming up. Now, as I said before, for some of you, this might not be very pleasant, especially if you're egotistical. Okay. We all have an ego <laughs> and that ego can get bruised. So this might be a week, even starting like the 26th, again, time is not linear, but I'm feeling like it's kind of like just before the week or what we're defining as a week gets started, something starts to stir for you. So some of you might want to retreat a little bit. You might want to just kind of take a minute with yourself. You know, whatever works for you. Just take care of yourself. School site, peace. <laughs> All right? the, like I said, the Morganite, here, I got to put my cards down. Uh, Morganite is sort of a peaceful kind of a peaceful crystal as well. So if you're finding the peace in your heart, you're coming to terms with letting go of resentment. Uh, you don't want that manifesting as disease. Okay. Letting people, yeah, letting people be at their comfort level as well. So, you know, being at peace with someone who, if we are talking romantic uh, love, who comes in and maybe they just don't move as quickly as you do. You know, I have a Cancerian moon and, you know, I'm a Scorpio and, you know, very watery and whatever. And I do find that I get, you know, I, I don't fall in love easily necessarily, but if I get a crush, oh my, I'm crushing, you know, like I'm in, right? And it could be very easy to get hurt when you're like that. I have a Taurus rising, so I, that kind of helps me a little bit. But, um, you know, if, if somebody doesn't move as quickly as I do, I know I've been having to go through that where I'm like, not everybody's wired like me. You know, some people are, are more cerebral. Maybe they're a little more fiery. Maybe they're a little more work oriented. And that doesn't mean that I'm not important to them. It just means that's just how they're wired. So this uh, peace card, I think, is saying you're coming to peace with understanding that not everybody thinks the way you do. <laughs> right? Not everybody processes love the way that you do. And going, oh, well, that's okay. And even, like I said before, if the crush doesn't get off the ground, if like some romantic situation you were hoping for doesn't happen, you could still be at peace with that and go, well, then that wasn't it, all right? Like that wasn't meant to be in my experience because the experiences that are for you, that you are creating, you won't miss them. They'll be right in your face, okay? So there's that. Let's get the color cards going. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I would love to say that this is like a giddy fun week and it has that element to it or that potential there, but it's also like, it's deep and profound too. And it's just sort of a, like a giant exhale kind of thing. That doesn't mean you're not going to have things going on at work. That doesn't mean that, you know, everything's going to be, you know, there could be obstacles, challenges. There will always be that. But, uh, you're gonna start seeing how you can navigate things a little bit better. This is not manipulation. This is just more about understanding. Understanding yourself and understanding others. Ah, let's drop the cards. And uh, just understanding that, um, you know, people don't have to be thinking with your exact thoughts, right? To, what am I trying to say, to connect? Yeah, that's what it is. It's all about connection this week. But connecting in a way that uh, helps you grow and you help the other person grow kind of thing. So embrace differences. I should have just said that. I don't know why it took me that long to get to that. Anyway, here it is. 
Ooh, blue, activate your healing power. The number is 37. So be done with the old way. Let yourselves be healed. Open up to different ideas, different people. You know, some of you might be uh, coming into contact with a love partner that's unlike anybody you've ever been with before. Or maybe you're starting to realize, okay, I need to take a different approach. But the big take home message here, guys, is get out of your heads and connect with your heart. You want this to be very, very balanced. Okay. And who knows, it could be a lot of potential here. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. on love this week guys so let's get into it for the week beginning january 27th 2020 <laughs> my sweater is attacking me there was literally a fuzzy that just went bloop and like just stayed on my nose i don't know if that was picking up on the camera but here we are take two